Guys, I don't know what happened, um, but it's somehow already March and I'm just now getting to my first thread up unboxing of 2022. So if you wanna see what I got, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. And like I said in the intro, this is a thread up unboxing. So it's already March, it's March 2nd, and I have been stalking the thread up website um, every day since January 1st. And this is the first time I've found a box that I haven't gotten yet or that I enjoy getting. Um, mostly I've just seen like the bulk clothing or the denim box which I don't really want to get um, and I don't know if I'm just not looking at the right times I'm on the East Coast and I only work until 3 which is when I'm on my computer to constantly refresh the page um, but obviously I'm doing something wrong because a lot of other people that I watch here on YouTube have gotten tons of thread up boxes and the ones that I've been looking for so if you have a secret please share it with me because I would love to get some more thread up boxes um, to show you guys. All right, so honestly, this is the first time I've ever gotten this box. This is the DIY scrap fabric box. And originally I had zero intention of ever getting this box. Um, but then I was watching Thriving Thrifters, Clarissa um, and Married Life, Alicia, and they both got several of these boxes and the items were pretty good. Um, so you can thank them for this video. I will leave links to both of their channels in the description below if you're interested. Um, Clarissa especially does a lot of thread up unboxings. Um, so let's get into it. I don't know what's in this box. I haven't really looked in it. I have just opened it. Um, it is from Arizona. Um, I know people seem to care about that and like Clarissa always says, Arizona means it doesn't have a sticker on the tissue paper, which is nice because then I don't have to ruin it by pulling it off. So here's what it looks like inside. And here's a second glance. I see something in the top right there that I recognize. Um, but this is the second glance inside the box after removing the tissue paper. The unboxings I've seen haven't really been too much DIY. It's just been lots of different prints and stuff like that. Um, I have seen some pretty good brands in them too, so we'll see what happens. Um, this first one is Ula Popkin. I think that's what that says. This is a plus size. It's a 2830, which is a great size, 100% cotton. I've never heard of this brand, so I will have to do some research. And this is a solid color. I believe it's a dress. Let's see if I can show you. I am a little bit close to the camera, so it is a dress. It's a really pretty, like, magenta color. This does have some issues. Um, so DIY right out the box. <laughs> um, it has some stains on the back. Here's an example of one. Please ignore my nails. I need to see my nail tuck in the worst way. So I will try to get these out and then um, do some research on the brand and see if it's worth listing. This is a really fun print. This, I don't see. Oh, here we go. This is Look At Me, uh, one size. Kind of looks like a little boutique -y brand tag. Look At Me. I'm trying to get it so that I can actually show it to you. I don't, I think this is a wrap skirt. It's really hard to see on camera, but the print is beautiful. It's black and like some very nice autumn gold and mustard yellow tones. I do see two ties here um, so that you can tie them together, making the waist adjustable, hence the one size but it is a really nice maxi skirt. This is the thing that I recognized um, from the beginning. This is Pusheen. Um, a lot of times they are pretty collectible. Um, I have sold quite a few Pusheen items because my daughter used to be like obsessed with Pusheen. This is a large to extra, extra, extra large. Um, it is 100% polyester and it is a kimono or a robe, however you'd want to wear this. Um, some of these items can come in collectible boxes, like subscription boxes. It's cute. 
Here's a little close up of the print with Pusheen the cat. Again, very collectible. It does have the belt as well, which is great. Um, quick glance, I don't see any stains or anything. Um, if I find any, um, I will put that on the screen, but it doesn't look so um, at first glance. This item is super soft. Um, it's 96% polyester and 4% spandex. I don't know if there's a brand tag. I don't see one. Um, but it is this really pretty like sage green, minty green floral print scarf. Again, super soft. So I'm sure I can list that and get a few dollars out of it. Another fun print here. I think this is another kimono or robe. Uh, this is 100% rayon, made in Indonesia, Pareo Island. I'm probably butchering that, so I do apologize. Here's the label. This one does have a belt as well, which is awesome. Again, really fun print. It's super bright and colorful. Nice tropical floral pattern. This does not have a brand. It just has a little size large label, which is usually not promising. Um, it also doesn't feel very nice at all. And it's just a black midi dress with the high neck. Eh. So far, my first startup box of the year is not the greatest, but that's okay. Um, next, we have papier, which I think means paper, um, size medium. Trying to get the label for you. Papier. So this one is another dress, um, and it's definitely a DIY. Uh, someone shortened the straps here, but they did not use the right color thread. They used gray thread for a pink dress, um, and the stitch job was not done the best. I don't know anything about this brand, so I don't know if it would even be worth it to try to remove um, the alterations. Um, there's also a stain here on the side of the seam it kind of looks like a dress uh, like a bridal party dress um, it is maxi length so eh, on that one too we have another dress this is target morona size large not too jazzed about it but i'm sure i can squeeze a few bucks out of it this one is a spaghetti strap number in a pretty blue tie-dye print again maxi length if you know me, you know I hate dresses because I just don't have the space to photograph them. So if I can't find a style photo, chances are it'll probably just get donated. All right, so this is a skirt and the tag has been ripped out. I have no idea what it is, what material it is. It doesn't feel nice. And it is a skirt with this ruching down the front. Eh, again. <laughs> just the theme of this box it's not going well at all um next we have another skirt again no brand i don't even see that there was ever one attached it is a pretty floral print and perfect for spring but i don't know if i would even bother listing this Sometimes you just have to realize what your time is worth and not bother with stuff that isn't worth it. Okay, here is the tag. It says new look, um, US size two. Don't know anything about this brand, but I will definitely do some research. All right, so clearly the theme of this box is meh dresses and meh skirts, which is everything that I despise <laughs> about um, reselling so I don't ever look in skirts or dresses this is another one that doesn't have a size or a brand or anything it's very tiny high-waisted with this snap detail on the front but nothing to snap into here are the snaps 
Not quite sure what I can do with that. Ah, guys, help. All right, so this next one, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the brand because it's Asian and I will butcher it, but here is the tag. It feels very cheaply made, no size, and it's a, again a dress. This time it is yellow, deep V-neck, got like a bat wing dolman sleeve, and maxi length. One more item in this box, and it's, it's not going to save the box, um, honestly. This is Cody, made in USA, um, size small. It is 100% polyester. Here is the tag. And it is, again, a dress. It's pretty. It's like a green satin with these teeny tiny spaghetti straps that aren't holding up anybody's ladies. Um, I wouldn't know because I don't have any. But <laughs> here we go. It does have this overlay with a floral pattern. It's really hard to see because um, it's super sheer. Um, and the lining is like a deeper emerald green. So it is nice and I don't honestly know anything about Cody so maybe it could be a gem and I just don't know about it but this was probably the worst thread up box I have ever gotten in my history of thread up boxes so I guess I'm going to have to really stalk the website even harder so that I can redeem myself or let thread up redeem themselves because this isn't my fault that the box wasn't great um but yeah let me know what you think about this box um I'm pretty sure my feelings are known. Um, not happy, not excited about it. Uh, I don't even know how many of these things that I will actually list and try to sell. Most of it will probably just go in my next bag of donations to Savers, um, which I do like once a month. Um, aside from this Pusheen robe, which I will definitely get listed. Um, maybe this other robe, the really colorful tropical print one, and I have to look up a couple brands, but everything else um, I definitely wouldn't pick up in a thrift store, probably wouldn't even pick up at the bins. So there's that. Sometimes that happens. Obviously, it's a mystery box. You can't really control what's going to go in there, and sometimes you're really surprised. I mean, I've gotten Rothy's um, in a Thought Up shoe box before. I've had Decent luck with the denim box though. I haven't gotten it in a few years at this point So I don't know if I would ever order that again just because I don't like listing jeans I don't often grab them in the thrift store if I can help it um, more recently. I have been picking them up, but um, Yeah, they don't do the best for me. So I love the shoe box I want to order another one of those, but I have so many shoes that haven't sold yet So I've been holding off on it because it has been available when I've been looking at the rescue boxes um, I really want to get my hands on another um, Men's designer box even though it's pretty expensive for only four pieces And I would love to finally get a DIY designer box, but that's like, you know some kind of crazy voodoo magic. I don't know how people are getting their hands on these boxes, but I can't get one to save my life. So um, we'll see. I will definitely keep you posted, but yeah, not a great thread up box to start 2022, even though this obviously isn't the start of 2022, but it's my first box of the year. Um, but if you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you can just, you know, commiserate with me, misery loves company, please consider clicking that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please also consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.